Hey guys, we're gonna do some data viz today. In fact, we're gonna visualize the timing and the magnitude of earthquakes that happened the past seven days. First thing, the data. USGS has got like a GeoJSON feed on earthquakes. And uh, on this website, you can you have a bunch of options and um, we're gonna use one of the GeoJSONs here. Now, if I'm gonna click this link, this is a direct link to a GeoJSON file. And we can copy this link, go to GeoLayers, and here's one trick. Hold Control or Command and click Import File. Like this, there's not going to be like a pop-up from where you can select file on your local machine, but you can directly paste in a URL. Hit Enter and it's going to be imported directly from the URL. Uh, you can see that I've got the Earthquake Sample Project open and uh, this one's got a little timeline down here. So this is semi-automatic. So you can, uh, if you right click and hit edit value, you can type in a different date and this timeline and the text in between is gonna work automatically. So this is not super exact because it does not take into account the time of the current day, but only the date, but it works for our example. Now let's have a look at our data set. I'm going to click feature properties here with my feature collection selected. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a data driven style depending on the magnitude of the earthquake. So I'm going to click this little icon here and what we're going to do, we're going to select the point width here. We want to style the width or we want to change the width according to the magnitude. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the values here. GeoLayers has set up this data-driven width here for me. So the property name is MAG for the magnitude. Um, the value range is 4.5 to 6.6. .6. And in this range, we're gonna have the size of the dots from 10 to 50 pixels. Now, I also wanna change the color according to the magnitude. So I'm gonna click this little cogwheel here and we're gonna enter the property name like here, MAG, and we're gonna have the same value range. So we're gonna type in 4.5 to 6.6. .6. And in this value range, we're gonna set up two colors, um, choosing green and blue here. And we have this nice gradient preview of what our data is gonna look like. I'm also setting down the opacity to 75 here and change the name to magnitude. I'm gonna hit apply here. So we're back in our feature properties panel. And you can see that all of the features have got a time property on it. And this is exactly what we need. So we selected the feature collection. And if you select the feature collection that has like a lot of features inside, you can set up the containing features timing. So simply select the property that you want to use for the timing in this dropdown and hit apply. Now, all we need to do is make sure that our current time indicator is at the starting point of our animation. Then we're going to select the feature collection that holds all the features. We're going to click draw features and down here we can see draw with time offset. This little stopwatch here indicates that all these features have a certain time. If we click it, we can define the duration for our animation. So 10 seconds is exactly the duration of our timeline animation. So I'm gonna hit create animation. Now GeoLayers has drawn a bunch of shape layers here. And if we preview our animation, it's gonna look like this. So we got all the earthquakes with a visualized magnitude by the size and the color of the dots. And we also visualized the timing of the features. Now, I would like to add an animation as all of the dots appear. So therefore, I created a label template that simply looks like this. So it's just this little pulse. And we're going to use this label template for all of our features here. So what am I going to do is I'm going to go to the start of the animation by hitting Control and left on the keyboard. I'm gonna jump ahead three frames. And now I'm gonna select all of these features. Make sure that the pulse label template is selected. And then under label features, 
I will find the exact same option. So we can add labels with time offset. And by clicking this, we get the same dialog. 10 seconds is okay for us. And I'm gonna hit create animation. And once GLayers has created all of these labels here, our animation is done. Note that all the layers that we have created are offset according to the time property in our data set. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.